Welcome everyone to alumni online engagement opportunities and challenges with so Nina Gracheva from the Central European University of Budapest in Vienna. She is in charge of strategic direction and overall smooth operation of the alumni relations office at CEU, responsible for the engagement of, of over 18,000 alumni in more than 140 countries. Just a reminder to our attendees that if you're looking for using elements of gamification, you can scroll to the top of the agenda and click tap on track one. Or if you wanted to check out class link in the tech lab, click track three. Now over to Nina. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for the introduction and hello everyone. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, depending on where you're joining uh, this session from. I'm very excited and honored to be uh, here with you today. I usually speak at uh, advancement um, industry events, so I'm very excited to, to be part of a bigger conversation with uh, higher education uh, professionals such as you, yourself. Um, what I would like to share with you today in the next 15 minutes or so is uh, some examples of what uh, we at CEU have done in terms of reimagining our alumni engagement uh, programs for the new normal or the whatever normal we are living in right now and we've been living in in the last 13 or 14 months and what I think uh, how what we've done aligns with the strategic goals of the university and uh, generally the potential that alumni engagement has to support universities and to advance their mission. Um, the, the first slide that, that you see on your screens are screenshots of, of um, a session we had with uh, alumni last year who were welcoming uh, the, the class of 2020. So this is just one example to start us off of how we reimagined um, um, their engagement and how we, we uh, involved uh, the, the alumni uh, community in welcoming uh, the, the new class. Uh, oops, sorry, I'm trying to go to the next slide, but that seems, oh, there you go, it works. So before I start, I just wanted to very quickly share a couple of quick facts about the Central European University. Mm. And because everything that I will share in terms of alumni engagement to, to a great extent define, defines, uh, is defined by the type of institution that we are. So um, it's a fairly young university. It was established in 1991 in Budapest. Um, this was at the time when the Iron Curtain fell and CEU literally provided a breath of fresh air in the education, higher education sphere in the region by offering a US accredited degrees in English um, in a totally different style of education than uh, what was uh, then known in the region. Um, and CU has been uh, educating global ch change makers since then. Um, in addition to our historical um, campus in Budapest, where we unfortunately had to downsize our operation because of pressure from the Hungarian government, who was not very happy with CEU operating in the country. We've opened um, a campus in Vienna in 2019, and most of our degrees are now there. Um, we offer uh, from this year BA degrees, but traditionally we've been a graduate school offering masters and doctoral programs in the social sciences and uh, humanities, as well as law management and public policy. We are fairly small, if you wish, boutique graduate school and now also in the graduate institution with some 1,400 students. But we are very proud of our diversity. We are among the most diverse universities on the planet. Um, our faculty, staff and students come from over 100, uh, 130 countries from around the world. Um, we are accredited uh, in the United States, Austria and uh, uh, Hungary. And last but not least, uh, many of our programs are ranked among the top 100 in the world in the QS rankings. Um, this is, this is uh, 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 switching the focus uh, to alumni relations. This is uh, my lovely uh, team from the very early days of the pandemic when we all switched to home office mode. So what are we trying to do in the alumni relations office? And this is, I think, 
um, true for any alumni relations operation um, in the world. Our goal and our mission is to build uh, and nurture lifelong mutually beneficial relationship between CEU, between our institution and the global alumni community. And it, as it was mentioned in the introduction, we have 18,000 alumni in 140 uh, countries around the world. Um, Oh, our mission is to, to build engagement programs which inspire loyalty and financial support for the institution, and also programs which uh, uh, inspire uh, alumni to strengthen the institution's reputation and to advance its mission. And I will give examples of how exactly we achieve that. One thing to consider, and I think this is universal, it's not, of course, only about CEU, is that the alumni network is your biggest, fastest growing and farthest reaching network of supporters uh, that your institution has. So uh, by the virtue of fact that every year you have a graduating class of a couple of thousands or a couple of tens of thousands, that's an, an incredible network with incredible potential out there in the world, which can help your university and, and, and support your mission. Of course, this, this requires some investment in, in building capacity and, and, and funding, um, but it is out there and it's a potential that uh, uh, every institution can, can tap into strategically. Um, there is a holy trinity of, of alumni engagement and, and uh, that's the, the three T's, um, the time, the talent and the treasure that, that uh, we want to inspire alumni to, to give to, to uh, our institution uh, in order to support it. And I will give a couple of examples of um, how we've done that since the pandemic has started. I believe that uh, alumni relations generally uh, reinforce the sense of community, build participation and promote and cultivate service across the community. But I think uh, this has been especially true in the times of COVID and, and hopefully it will, it will be in the future, continue being so in the future. Um, just a couple of examples. So there are certain areas where we've, we've encouraged this. The first one is events. And as you can imagine, uh, all alumni events before the pandemic um, were in person. So the, the pandemic presented this incredible uh, challenge of how to reimagine um, the, the alumni reunion, which is in uh, most universities' calendars, the annual uh, alumni event, um, how to reimagine it for, 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 for the new reality. We at CEU were in the process of planning the alumni reunion when the, when the pandemic started. So we had to cancel all the plans and we, uh, we had to quickly reimagine it for the online format. What we decided to do is to, to keep um, the core idea of the reunion as, as being a tradition where uh, alumni from around the world gather. But we also included some new innovative elements that the, the, the online platform allowed us, which we were not able to, to do before. Um, we used it again as an as a, uh, opportunity to get together the community and to celebrate our community. Um, and, and also offer, we, we traditionally we would have a reunion weekend. Last, last year we had a reunion month. So we had a series of events uh, that uh, we've, we've um, created to engage alumni in new creative ways. And I'll share a couple of examples. Right now we are in the process of planning our next uh, alumni reunion online, which will be in June. And we, are, we again in, uh, innovated this year and added new elements to it. This is just a just few examples from the online gala and the class reunions that we've organized last year. We also hosted very successful uh, regional events. And one important takeaway from these events was that we managed to attract a lot of alumni who traditionally would never come to our campus in Budapest 
or Vienna simply because they're too far or their family life or their careers wouldn't allow or their financial circumstances wouldn't allow to travel and uh, come and, and visit us on campus. So we had alumni joining from Australia and Iran, uh, all over Europe, of course, the US, um, people who would have never connected with us um, otherwise. And this is um, an incredible opportunity to reconnect with these people and to later on um, engage them so that they uh, continue supporting uh, the institution. This year, we are adding a couple of online professional development sessions. Um, uh, we will have a session with, uh, which proposes lifelong learning uh, for, for uh, CU um, alumni, as well as um, a, a session organized by our career uh, services on uh, maximizing the, the potential of LinkedIn and how to use it for, for networking. Um, uh, let me just uh, take you into a couple of other examples. We, we will have an online trivia quiz where students and alumni will match wits. And again, you know, this would have never been possible if we were uh, uh, hosting it on campus, which we did in the past. But now we would have the opportunity to engage many more, more people, and we are very excited. We, we've also introduced, oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me, sorry. Um, we've also introduced, uh, sorry, I need to go into full screen. Just give me one second. Uh, a running club for our community uh, online that everyone can, can join. So this is another thing that we could have never dreamt of being able to do uh do before um oops uh we also uh innovated a lot in many other areas of of alumni engagement including including uh fundraising uh just right after the the, the pandemic has started as i'm sure you've experienced in your institutions there was increased a need for emergency funding for students and in the beginning we were a bit hesitant whether you know we are in a position to ask our alumni to donate when then they themselves might be struggling financially but we had incredible success uh, obviously given the context in which we we operate um, and we had very generous donations and uh, i've shared just a couple of quotes of what alumni shared of why they decided uh, to support us. We also uh, developed a new innovative program for volunteers where we paired up alumni volunteers and students who were struggling to finish writing their thesis because of stress and pandemics and isolation. Um, and we called it Thesis Buddies. And th this is incredibly successful uh, program that we are running also this year. So, so far we've had 100 alumni and students participating uh, in it. And again, this is all thanks to the, uh, thanks to the pandemics in many ways that we, we even thought about it. Uh, and it's very welcome by both students and alumni. Uh, many institutions these days talk about uh, the incredible potential of alumni supporting student recruitment, and especially now when the university recruiters are not able to, to travel. CEU has uh, had uh, alumni uh, volunteers supporting its recruitment traditionally, but we've expanded uh, the program this year, and um, alumni have been participating in a lot of alum uh, online initiatives to to support our recruitment efforts in, including a special program i know that there are many bodies thesis body and uni body project where which we run on our website where alumni volunteers um chat virtually with with prospective students and give their perspective of studying um, at ceu and share share tips with them so this is a very welcome initiative and should i say that um the numbers uh, of uh, applications have actually increased uh, this year um even though we were fearing that because of the pandemics they, they would go down also thanks for the uh 
thanks to the generous support of, of, Stu, of uh, alumni volunteers. Um, I think uh, another thing that, that we've seen, another trend, is increased uh, communication engagement across our social media platforms. Um, the number of, of members uh, uh, on our social media has uh, grown dramatically, as well as their engagement in terms of posts and comments. And this is, uh, we think, because our uh, alumni community is thirsty for genuine connection. Um, and we, we try to capitalize on this and to engage them in meaningful, um, meaningful conversations across our, our, our channels. And we use our channels, obviously, for nostalgia that works very well, I assume, at every university, but also to share updates from CU, to share volunteering opportunities, which has worked really well for us, event promotion as well as uh, fundraising. One thing that we also had to um, adjust to the new reality is our program of um, alumni services and benefits. Uh, and we've realized that in this new reality, uh, with campuses being closed uh, and people being very far, that what is really an added value are the online resources that we can offer to our alumni. So we, we kind of ramped up um, the promotion of the, the online uh, services and benefits, such as the VPN access to our library resources. And in our reality, this is also free of charge. And this has, this has been incredibly popular and appreciated by, by alumni. We also uh, offer email for life. So uh, our alumni can, can keep their, their CEO accounts. And in addition to that, uh, because of the crisis, we, we promoted much more extensively the online career consultations, which is part of alumni services and benefits. And th this was incredibly uh, welcome, especially uh, now when a lot of people are struggling and with a lot of red redundancies around the world. Um, so in a nutshell, what, what, what did we learn from, the, uh, from, from this past uh, very eventful year? Um, the first lesson, obviously, that I believe all of us have learned is that disruption is a chance, perhaps not a welcome chance, but it is a chance to rethink and reimagine what we do and how we do it and why we do it. Um, it also gave us an opportunity to engage bigger and different alumni groups, bigger audiences, which ultimately we hope will translate with a uh, bigger circles of supporters for our university, be it as volunteers or as donors. It has strengthened alumni's bond with CEU in new organic ways, we feel, and enhanced their support. Um, so I, I shared uh, examples of new ways that alumni are supporting us uh, uh, now, and we received a lot of notes of appreciation for the opportunities that we've given to alumni to reconnect with CEU during this very difficult year. One typical reaction uh, for uh, from alumni um, regarding our events has been that, you know, we all now have million Zoom calls during the day, but um, joining a CEU event is very special because, you know, you, you see familiar faces, you reconnect with a community that you love. So Zoom fatigue so far hasn't been really an issue. It may become, obviously, uh, moving uh, uh, forward. Uh, we will have to see. Uh, we've seen increased engagement across all social media channels, which has been our goal for many years, but somehow we couldn't achieve it um before and um, the pandemic has opened up this opportunity which we which we uh, used and last but not least i think that this is also one of the favorites of our leadership i'm sure it has dramatically caused uh, cut our operational costs because simply we we we, we used zero travel budget we use zero event budget um uh, so, and we've uh, we've executed all these programs basically from from our homes, which is which is a plus. Now, moving forward, we will see how uh, we we are planning uh, from next fall uh, to to organize hybrid events and to to move into um, 
this reality where we combine online engagement with in-person engagement. So we will still have to see how that plays out, uh, how comfortable alumni are to join hybrid events and what that will bring. But, but I hope that we will be able to build upon um, some of the very important and valuable lessons that we've learned. And also, I really hope that we will uh, manage to send um, a very clear signal to, to our leadership that we are here to support our institution to achieve its goals of, you know, uh, increased recruitment numbers, um, uh, secure sustainability, and to, to realize the, the incredible potential that the alumni um, community, the global alumni uh, community has in supporting them. So I think I will stop here. This is my contact. I'm very happy to connect with you via email or LinkedIn. And I believe that now it's time for us to, to open the floor for questions, if I'm not mistaken. So thank you. Thank you very much, Nina. Uh, and maybe to start out, let's start with a very practical question. How do you handle time zones with alumni all over the world, since you now have to do it in real time? Uh, excuse me, can you, can you, I'm just trying to stop sharing my screen, uh, if you just would give me a sure. second. Sure. Mm. Okay, please bear with me for one more moment. Here I am. Okay. So Wonderful, I, I, you're I, back. I, so yes. a very practical question. Since yes. everything is online and your engagement with the alumni all over the world has increased, how do you handle time zones and the change since uh, it now puts your staff on a 24 seven uh, schedule? Pretty much, we, we try to, 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 to find a middle ground. So for, uh, we, we are in Europe, we are in Central Europe and we have, luckily we have a lot of alumni in our region, but yes, we do have a global community as I mentioned in over 140 countries around the globe. So for our events, uh, we try to schedule them at a time zone which potentially can work for everyone. So around this time of the day, usually, and that has been working well, but also we encourage locally. Um, uh, so, so our local volunteers drive some, some of our engagement. So we have local chapters. I didn't manage to mention that we have local ch chapters in about 90 countries around the world. And then we have alumni who are chapter leaders. So in many cases, it's the alumni leaders who organize local events in the time zone where that um, um, our alumni are. So, so there is that option option too. And that so far has been, has been working well. Do you involve your faculty in alumni engagement? Now that you're doing it online, it makes it more amenable for timing. Uh, yes, we do. Actually, what, what we do, and this is something that I haven't, haven't mentioned, uh, what, what we've done this year, which we haven't done before because most of our events with faculty were on campus. So our hands were really tight in terms of alumni who could join. It was basically only alumni who are in Budapest or Vienna. But now we've, uh, we've been promoting very extensively uh, online events with faculty uh, to the broader alumni community. We were not organizers of these events and, and the interest was uh, has been incredible. I think, I mean, we would have uh, routinely 100 alumni registered for, for this event. So, so we have university-wide seminars led by, by faculty and we would always think of uh, which particular group of alumni this is relevant for, and we would send very targeted uh, invites, and this has been working very well. Yeah, I'm, yeah I should have in included uh, that in my slides. Thank you for, for bringing it up. And, and, and this is really an incredible opportunity that we couldn't have dream of, dreamt of uh, before. So moving from faculty to students, uh, can you talk a little bit about opportunities that you see for student support? from alumni and greater connection between the alumni and students now that it doesn't have to be at a fixed time and can be at a time that's more convenient for the alumni? 
Yes, yeah, so so we've done a couple of, so let me just give you a very fresh example. Uh, we at CE are organizing every year Philanthropy Week, and we are actually in the middle of Philanthropy Week, so I have an event every day uh, this week. So just uh, the other day, we had um, um, a, a very nice conversation, we called it Students in Focus, where we, we invited our alumni scholarship recipients and the Student Philanthropy Council members to talk about uh, their experience of studying at CEU this year, which is obviously very different than anybody else's. And we invited alumni, especially alumni donors and volunteers to join that discussion. And it was a wonderful opportunity for alumni to reconnect with students, to hear you know, um, about how they've dealt with um, uh, you know, all the challenges of the year, but also to hear about, it's a very special program which requires from students to uh, be engaged with the community. And uh, so they shared examples of uh, online community engagement projects that they developed. So that's, that's one example. Another example is, what I've mentioned, the Thesis Buddies project where we, we pair students and alumni. So alumni serve as mentors, not necessarily as academic mentors, but more, if you wish, as cheerleaders or in moral support so that our students will, will um, finish their thesis in time. And we've received incredibly positive um, feedback from both students and alumni uh, on this project. We've had uh, already some hundred students matched up uh, last year and, and, and this year. Um, and there, there are many other, other examples. We, we, you, we will invite, we will hold alumni leadership forum with our uh, volunteers um, during the alumni uh, week. And we invite students to learn about volunteering, to, to meet, meet alumni. And we also <clears throat> invite them to join the, the local alumni groups already. And during graduation, we also host special sessions uh, for alumni where we welcome them in the alumni community and we invite both alumni and students. So, so these are a couple of examples of how we uh, make these connections between uh, alumni and students in the, in the new normal, if you wish. Thank you very much, Nina. That was just a fascinating view of what has been done in alumni engagement through the pandemic. And obviously it'll continue as we come out of uh, the COVID-19, let's say crisis.